in a chart, we can use any hot run house system, such as I'm using, for example, here, Plessis houses, but also I'm using whole sign houses as well to see the uh, natal chart in more detail or to see the power of the planets. So sometimes it is changing because, you know, we have uh, different intermediate house cusps with different house systems. But in medieval astrology, in traditional astrology, whole sign houses were very popular. And this is why I want to show you that whole sign houses can be used both in natal charts and both in solar return charts. And in normal plus house system, as you see here, you can use the planets in, the, in their houses where they are fallen. For example, the moon is in the third house. But of course, by whole sign houses, you see the moon in the second house. So sometimes it can be complicated, but when you, um, when you are familiar to work with the whole sign houses, you can work with any house system, the whole sign houses, it will be perfect to see the picture in more detail, actually. And I'm using five degree rule if a planet close to a house cusp, which you will see a bit later in some of the solar return charts. So let's start to take some information about what is solar return chart. A solar return chart is calculated for the exact moment when the sun returns to his natal position. So as you see in my chart on the left, this is my natal chart. The sun placed in 23 Aquarius, 36 minutes. And on the right, you see the solar return chart, which is casted for 1997. The sun is exact, exactly at the same degree and minutes. So the common reference point between the natal chart and the solar return chart is the degree of the sun, because the other planets are in degrees other than their natal positions. And with the help of the solar return charts, we may evaluate the events of the year ahead because the sun's transit around our chart, as you see, passing from the zodiac signs, totally 12 zodiac signs, takes a year. So we can say, we can call these charts also revolution charts a year for the nativity. So as you see here in this slide, solar return is also called an annual chart, or more traditionally, a revolution of the nativity. The moment of the solar return may be occurred before or after the calendar date of the native's birth. So for myself, let's say I was born on 12th of February, but in some years, in some solar returns, it happens when the date on the 11th of February or when the date turned to 13th of February. Some astrologers have said that the effects of the coming solar return begin almost three months beforehand. Why? This is because the transiting sun squares the natal sun before three months before the actual solar return enters. Probably this triggering aspect is giving some information or indicating something what the next year bringing. Some astrologers are saying that solar returns begin one month before the actual time when the solar return enters exactly and last one month after the years is year is completed but what i'm doing i start with the solar return what time it starts exactly and i finish when the next solar return enters so this is what i'm using but there are some other astrologers they are saying that actually the events for the coming year start to show their self just three months before the actual solar return enters. 
As for where to cast the chart, some modern astrologers erect the solar return chart for the native's birthplace. Many others prefer to erect the solar return chart for the place where the native actually is at the time of the solar return chart answers. And what I prefer to use, I prefer to use the place where the native spends most of his year. Sometimes people try to travel somewhere else other than where they are living uh, to take the planets on the angular houses for benefit, for example, let's say I'm living in Istanbul and for my next solar return, I see that benefit Jupiter falls in the 12th house. So I can go somewhere where Jupiter at that time, if I'm there at that time, I cast my solar return chart, Jupiter is on the ascendant, let's say angular, or Jupiter is on the 10th house, let's say angular house and more powerful houses. Some people are doing that. They are traveling before the actual soul return begins so that to, um, to have the benefits such as Jupiter, Venus, powerful planets in angular houses and um, to escape from the malefics being on the angular houses. Let's say Saturn is one of the malefic planets traditionally. If I see it on the ascendant in my next solar return chart, I can try to uh, bring it to my 12th house, traveling to somewhere else just before the actual solar return starts.